We've been receiving a lot of questions about integrating our amp recreation pedals with the Universal Audio Ox Stomp. In this video, we'll go over a few different ways of using these units together. For existing owners of our amp recreation pedals, the Ox Stomp opens up a world of direct guitar sounds, giving you instant access to direct tones when combined with the amp recreation pedals you already own. For those who own the Ox Stomp, you'll need an amp simulator to pair it with, and our all analog amp recreation pedals are a perfect match. You can make studio-ready guitar tones without ever needing to dive into the mic cabinet. If you'd like to jump directly to sounds, timestamps can be found in the description and there are dedicated sound samples at the end of the video. Before we hook anything up, let's quickly go over what each pedal does. The Ox Stomp is a digital guitar cabinet modeler produced by Universal Audio. It allows you to select between a variety of digital guitar cab emulations with the ability to tweak microphone choice and balance. This pedal allows for studio quality mic'd guitar cab sounds without the need to actually mic any cabs or produce any volume. In addition to the cabinet simulation, the Ox Stomp also features delay and reverb effects, but for this demonstration, we're not going to go too deep into the details of those. The Ox Stomp doesn't contain any guitar amp modeling, so it will require an external amp emulation to sound like a real guitar amp. Our product range contains a selection of what we call amp recreation pedals, these all analog pedals capture the sound and feel of the most sought after vintage valve amps. Unlike typical amp in a box pedals, these create the entire signal path of these amps in miniature. You can think of them as analog amp modelers rather than simple overdrives. They can be used into either a regular guitar amp or into a cabinet simulator for accurate guitar amp tones direct to an audio interface or PA system. Because we replicate the preamp, push-pull-output stage, reactive load and power supply sag of these classic circuits, there is no need for additional hardware between your amp recreation pedal and a cab sim pedal. With ultra-high input headroom, these act as the perfect analog front end when using digital cab sim solutions. To prepare the amp recreation for use with a cab sim, simply move the post-drive EQ switch into the power amp position. This removes the output filtering of the EQ1 and EQ2 settings, which are intended for use with the front end of traditional guitar amplifiers. The unfiltered output in power amp mode is what you'd hear if you were listening to the raw output of a valve amp on a dummy load. And whilst it may sound fizzy on its own, it contains all the frequency information necessary to sound right through a guitar speaker. If left in the EQ1 or EQ2 position, you'll likely find the sound too dark once connected to a cabinet simulator. When power amp mode is selected, the adjust knob becomes inactive and will not affect the sound. If you're looking to use one of our bass rig pedals with the Ox Stomp, you should start by flattening the amp out EQ. This can be done by returning the HF and LF trimmers to their 12 o'clock position and selecting the zero position on the horn cut switch. For our first setup, we'll be recreating a basic amp setup with no additional pedals. Simply connect the output of the amp recreation pedal directly to the left input of the Ox Stomp and the outputs of the Ox Stomp to an interface or full range speaker setup. This can be done in mono using just the left output or in stereo using both. For this demo, we're going stereo. In this configuration, you can easily create realistic Marshall, Fender and Vox-like tones simply by changing the settings on the amp recreation pedal and pairing it with appropriate cab models in the Ox Stomp. With a 412 cab selected and a Marshall inspired setting on the Revival Drive Compact, we're ready to play. By changing the cab and some of the settings on the Revival Drive Compact, we can quickly venture into Fender and Vox territory.
Revive We Drive Compact could easily be replaced by any one of our Amp Recreation pedals for a wide range of enjoyable and classic tones. Now that we've covered a basic straight into amp setup, let's consider how we might expand our rig. In these setups, we're considering the Amp Recreation pedal as our amp and the Ox Stomp as our cap. Anything placed before the Amp Recreation pedal is akin to placing a pedal before the input of a traditional valve amplifier. Pedals placed between the Amp Recreation pedal and the Ox Stomp are effectively in the effects loop, and effects placed after the Ox Stomp are equivalent to studio outboard or plugins used after a mic'd up cap. Gain pedals like fuzz, compression, overdrive and distortion will sound best before the amp recreation pedal, allowing you to push the front end just as you would a real valve amp. If you like placing delay and reverb in your amp's effects loop, you can replicate that too. Placing reverbs and delays after the amp recreation pedal but before the aux stomp allows you to keep your time-based effects clean while still getting the speaker coloration, just like using the effects loop on a traditional guitar amplifier. If you use stereo time-based effects, this is doubly useful, as you can run your effects in stereo whilst only needing a single amp recreation pedal. Simply connect the left and right outputs of your time based pedals to the left and right input on the aux stomp. If you want truly pristine reverbs and delays, they can easily be moved post cab sim. This is the equivalent of using studio outboard or plugins on a mic source. None of these effects are going through the cab sim, so they maintain their full clarity and frequency response. Modulation pedals can be placed wherever you see fit. Those who use multi-effects and the four cable method for pre and post drive signal chain placement can easily achieve the same here. Just place an amp recreation pedal within your multi-effects send and return loop. Now that we've shown you how you might build and expand a setup with these two pedals, let's hear a selection of sounds and configurations. As always, if you have any questions about getting the most out of your Origin Effects pedals, you can contact us at support at origineffects.com. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.